Right, just taking a quick look at this new Runhood 1200 Plus. So this is an upgraded model from Runhood, and Runhood is pretty well known for having this power station that you can do this hot swapping with the with these batteries, right? So modular batteries, but the the key thing is the hot swapping feature, so you can keep the power going while you're swapping batteries in and out, right? I mean, there's just a, a lot of use cases for this, and and the thing is, when I took a, a look at the original 600 in, in a video quite a while ago, I was really impressed with with the execution of this concept right because you know this this whole thing could be a disaster if it doesn't work right but it seemed like they kind of um they thought of all the little details and all the little ways that you would you possibly use all these batteries now you know we'll talk about this more uh, in depth but you can use the batteries separately you can charge them separately right and so let's just kind of do a quick overview of all the specs here and kind of talk about the difference between the the other 600 model so you know the big change obviously is 1200 1200 watts right so the ec inverter has been upgraded so basically double the power right and I think this is this is something I kind of talked about in that original video it'd be really cool to have this system this modular hot swapping system combined with an inverter that's a little bit more capable right now 1200 watts you're not going to be able to power everything with that right but I've talked about this in a lot of my videos if you get the right appliances for especially when we're talking about cooking that's typically the the things that are going to use the most power right you can get a thousand watt hot plates you can get like 700 watt microwaves you know, you can get the things you're going to want to use in a, in a power outage, right? And be able to power that with 1200 watts easily. So, you know, each battery is about 320 some watt hours, right? So, um, so yeah, so if you get four of them, you're going to get 1296. But you got to note that you can only put two of them into the unit at the same time. So I think this is going to open the door for... Uh, future models, right? I'd like to see future models kind of just use these same batteries, right? A lot of their customers are going to have these batteries. You know, again, the whole the whole thing with this unit is you can hot swap them in. So if the if the charge starts getting low, <laughs> you know, you just put a new battery in, right? And you don't have to interrupt the power. That's the, the key thing. So um, as right there, <laughs> as they mentioned right there, with the other feature, okay, the wireless charger is new, right? So we do get that because we do have a flat top now, right? So <laughs> not only do we get the flat top but we get the wireless charger as well now the usb is basically the same and it's very good specs it's always been very good specs you know two 100 watt usb c's plus a couple of uh usb a quick charges the screen i think pretty much it looks the same to me which is you know fine it has all the information you want but the big news here is the uh charging input from the wall right so we do just have a standard cord right that got rid of the power brick um so <laughs> but what's really interesting about this is actually they're still giving you the power brick, right? Because if you want to be able to charge the batteries independently, right, they're still going to require that power brick. So if you get this adapter that they, they uh, well, they offer it with the batteries. Now, I'm not sure. You have to kind of look. I think maybe the pro bundle that kind of includes everything includes this, but otherwise you can just buy it separately. But basically, this is a little like MPPT controller box that can do up to 200 watts, right? I talked about this in the original video. So this is kind of like the same input that the Rally 600 model has, the main unit has on it. And so basically with this little box, this little connector, you can charge two batteries, you know, you hook them up here and you can basically then plug in that power brick to charge from the wall at 200 watts, right? Or you can plug in solar, which is basically what this image is showing here, right? So, um, so yeah, so, you know, you can charge two batteries in the unit, you know, up to 200 watts of solar and the voltage range is just, you know, it's just kind of standard, nothing special here. Uh, 12 to 24 volts and 10 amps, right? But that'll give you those 200 watts, right? If you got 200 watts of panels, uh, you know, so you can do connect it to the power station, right? 200 watts to the power station. And then with that uh, little adapter MPPT controller box I just showed, you can do the same thing with two other batteries that aren't in the power station, right? So this is kind of um, this is kind of the thing that's gonna, they've, they've really thought about the details here, right? They've really made it so if you're going to be able to hot swap these batteries into this unit, you, you they need to be charged, right? <laughs> kind of the whole thing. And it's not just the ability to charge these batteries independently. They actually have these little modules that you can buy, um, both to give you AC inverter, which is, you know, only 80 watts. But the thing that's really incredible about this, this thing, pure sine wave, right? So typically you don't see pure sine wave kind of with a less than 100 watt or even less than 200 watts, right? So they do claim it's pure sine wave, which is just awesome. And, and you know, I've talked about this in my videos, um, you know, basically the, the, the more power that the inverter can output, the more it's kind of going to consume, the more power it's kind of going to waste, right? So this is just awesome just having a little 80 watt uh, inverter.
especially for you guys out there that like to plug in like USB uh, charger bricks into your inverter. Right? <laughs> I've talked about that. Like it's kind of like the number one sin to do with power stations because you're just going to waste a ton of power. But in this case, uh, you could probably do that, right? But, uh, you know, it would still be better to use the USB. And then the other advantage to having these kind of like modular swappable batteries is, is they're not just swappable, right? They're replaceable. So a lot of people are still kind of, you know, freaked out about NMC batteries and thinking they're only going to last a few years and then they're not going to work anymore. You know, I've talked about this in my videos. NMC batteries will probably last longer than you think. Maybe not as, as long as LFP batteries, but still like, you know, pretty long. But you know, if you're, you're really worried about that, guess what? You can just replace these batteries. You know, they do sell them independently. They're about $300 or so. And obviously if you buy the bundles and stuff, you're gonna get a, a better deal. But still, you know, you could replace the batteries and then you're not, you know, needing to replace the whole unit or buy a whole new power station, right? So that's another appeal. Uh, one little detail I just noticed here. This is really interesting. I don't, do you see this? Like, check this out. There's actually, it looks like there's a four battery icons that kind of light up. You know, obviously these, both of these units, the 600 and 1200 only take two. And you can actually see that there's, you know, there's only two lit up there, but you know, that just kind of makes me think that this screen, you know, they were planning this, they were planning this out, you know, to have a model that can take four batteries in the future. Cause they, they, they're probably just going to keep using the same screen. Right. All right. And now as usual, we'll kind of do like a quick design analysis on this. And basically we get like this more generic looking unit. So um, this could be pros or cons depending on how you fall. Now I think the, the color scheme, you know, a lot of people maybe they, they, they're turned off by the idea of having like a big bright bold uh, power station like the old 600 was that all that, you know, big yellow case on this thing. So this was probably just a good idea, smart idea. It's just probably gonna appeal to more people. Although I think they, they went a little too far. I think it looks just a little too basic, a little too generic. I don't know, tell me what you guys think in the comments. But um, so I thought, you know, what's actually really kind of an interesting design detail on this thing that could have been, I think, highlighted or accentuated just a little bit more is check this out. The, the way the, the top kind of uh, rolls around and actually just falls down on the front of the unit. And then there's, you know, it just continues down here and it's like a little uh, lip that kind of follows the bottom of that. So this front uh, panel here that I've highlighted kind of, you know, just it kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, you know, from the from the, the the rest of the power station, which you don't really notice it, right? Because it's just it's all pretty much all black or dark gray, whatever it is. So I thought this would have been cool to kind of um, highlight the to kind of highlight that and to you know make it more noticeable. So if we would have done a little bit of a color change there, so I just kind of threw that into Photoshop and actually tried to just use the, you know that the 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 Ren Hood uh, orangish yellow color that they use so yeah it's just a twelve hundred plus here from Run Hood the upgraded model and as I mentioned there's different bundles you can get here just two batteries the Pro bundle here just pretty much gives you everything right but um but yeah so hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful interesting and yeah thanks for watching.